I want to give a brief, brief synapse of what we've happened since we came into town the last five years. Um, since we came in, the, la the last five years that brought it to what we are right now, the kind of present presentation and the kind of interaction that we're dealing with from them people. Mm -hmm. Because it's everybody, this is, this is without fail, Any, anybody that sees us got the same kind of reaction. And so. I roll a cigarette, they think I roll. Not a cigarette. They you think know, I the roll. The kind of questions they come with. And we yeah, so we deal with every so this 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 time we only got it up now not even a month. And this was but this was the final this was our final solution because we thought that most of them because they already got misconceptions look like right now they pick to, to swing, swing and put put this on, put this on, put this on. or anything like that it's supposed to really bother us because after all they don't care <laughs> no more skewed visions because if you're not speaking to me to me you're thinking things to do to me that is not to my favor because you're not even speaking to me so that is not right starting out from the jump because that's what we come to give the best of us not the worst of us most people don't get to see no side of us because they don't even engage us this is about link up to lift up links because God had blessed us and we started hand making our own stuff. We, we made a business around it, we registered the business and we applied for a loan but got denied the loan. But that didn't matter, we still brought forward the business car. Just like the beginning of the century, 1900, they used to call them push cart. That's what we did, a basic American company without the internet and all the meeting people. And so we came to town with our goods, presented our stocks to market. We got asked for a favor to show up to the International Fashion Fair, which we did in November 2004. Made a splash, everybody photographed us. We came in full garbs and everything. My wife got mentioned in the New York Times, November 27, 2005, right outside of Central Park for knit and crochet work. So that was the beginning of the documentation by the mass media. So we came out, we live like this as sojourners. We do not live in the box like regular people right now. We do not have the financial capacity to have the kind of bodyguards that they have when they live in those boxes. So we live in a box, we're still victims of every camera in the world. Everybody just rolling over everybody, specifically with their cameras. They look at us and they under I understand they need to have the picture and I like these all these wonderful people to get the picture in full from the front preferably rather than usually just the back shot because it makes us both feel being stabbed in the back and I turn around and you claim I wasn't looking. Well, I was looking and I caught you stabbing in my back and no, you did not try to uh, be a nice person or you would have had done like other people. They run in front of me and try to get a picture. They do the right thing, communication. Language does not even matter. Guess what? It starts with a smile. You know, because after all, you don't want to come and shop no handmade goods. My stuff starts at five dollars. Cinco pa uno. It's very reasonable, I find, to be for handcraft by very, very special people mentioned. By the way, why would you stand in front of a handcrafter asking me if I'm selling things? And I say yes. And I tell you, my stuff starts at five dollars, and you give me the eyebrow lift. What am I supposed to think? You came to lowball me, jump change, take me for a roll, get something for free? Because guess what? I got stuff for free too. But you didn't come in a nice manner really to receive none of my free bracelets. Because I make them by hand. Every loop, every knot, every thread, every little piece. So I put time of my life into this. I put prayers into this, goodwill into this. And this sign here is a direct reflection of what happened to us with this mess. It's wild in this park, but like I said, we, brought, we came to the park because of that, because it's got a lot of walkways and stuff. 
They don't have tricks are all them kind of thing. Right now, most of them would not even realize that right now we're in the middle of oh, Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit. They're right here right now. The reason being two or more are gathered in their name. We're communing right now in, in heavenly format and they're going to get to see a beautiful rendition of it. Like I said, Central Park got a wonderful ambiance, but as you could look around and you see it, most of the people got cameras out there because they're in camera ring, so when they see us, everybody with the camera just go nuts. All oh, this became side effect of our popularity and them not, because like I said, the fashion community really messed up. They didn't give us no contract, no nothing, then try to steal from us to further aggravate the situation. We have no problem with none of the paparazzi cameras that come upon us all the time, which is something that happens regularly. They come upon us all the time. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God in our eyes. Praise the Lord. Until a month ago to come up with this sign. And this sign now has opened up a whole different door. Now we're getting a chance to actually speak to people. They're actually stopping and talking to us now. They come to realize that uh, we actually was trying to interact with you. We actually do sell stuff. We're not begging for nothing. We're not robbing nobody of nothing. We're not stealing. We're not raping, pills or plundering. All we went to was good. And so now they, the, the good people that we got to interact with over these five years, they're getting a chance to shine now. And that's what we went working towards so that all them good links, because in the link up to lift up all the good links image, that then, we okay. made, so then I'm the model it's what it's about. And you just take pictures. I feel the model should get paid. Why you are? Why why would somebody uh, uh, say to me, "Oh, you shouldn't get paid"? You saw even the elderly gentleman earlier gave me some money. Some is better than nothing. If everybody would have had given me a dollar or two, took a picture of me the last five years, I wouldn't have to be outside here on the street, running away from cameras, being run raggedy. They missed the point. So, I, leave it I'm I don't know what they come here to see, but, but it's more than enough for me to do the things that I need to do. For a lot of flies that's, that's being told that's out here, they're coming to see, I guess, these poor they homeless people, and then they come and run into us, and we look like this, and guess what? They're bright broken right there. Because, hey, we look damn good for our situation. Who are they to judge? Maybe the outside is a whole lot better than you on the inside. Maybe I don't have to deal with air conditioners and being ill all the time and having one pimple after the other on the, on, on the problem because it's all dirty environment you still be living in. So who is to judge? You come and then you see something that you didn't expect to see. I hear this a lot. Oh God, you pretty. Well, thank you, but prettiness doesn't pay the bills here. Prettiness does not get you nowhere. Prettiness will put stumbling blocks in your way. You know models why they're pretty? They're getting paid when the camera is on them. So if you don't, don't somebody don't want to shop with us and they just want the image, fine. That means now I model for you. You should give me something. I shouldn't go out empty. Not after I give you all this joy that you go over and over and over and over and share it with your friends and spam it. And oh God, did you see these people and oh, and all this story that you have with the picture? And you probably don't even have one of my bracelets. Shameful. Because where does this leave me? Okay. But hey, you see what I'm saying? I, 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 and if we're going to have I, any I, meeting I, with one another, why not here? Why anywhere else? Why not here? Huh? There's the best place I could think of, Central Park. We could have accidental meetings along any of the walkways, the any field. You understand what I'm saying? Central Park was built with a team. And the team was that anybody, when you come in these gates, it doesn't matter who you was. It was just a, it was just a, it was just a body. You know, it's supposed hey, to be a communication place. Hey, people come, like be open, you can talk. It's not about no, who you are out there. It's not your 20 million or your 20 million no, not. It wasn't about that. It was, was supposed to be a non-judgmental place, Central Park. Everybody could come. They walk through and just... So I hope that that spirit still lives for Central Park because it is a beautiful place. And so that's what we do. We tell people, you want to find us, come to Central Park. It doesn't matter where. 
we not getting no specific location, because like I said, we are two or more gathered in the name of the Lord, he'll be right there. So hey, if I'm dressed like this, who the hell cares where I sleep at nights, right? Nobody should be worrying, well, but guess what now, a lot of people worrying, they ask me all the time, oh my god, Lola, where are you going to sleep tonight? Well, how am I supposed to know? Why don't you book me into the Warwick, Marriott, Hilton, Sheraton, for that, just that one night, the question that you ask. Get yourself that monkey itch off your, off your rack, slide your visa card real through and we do that, but guess what? They can't do that, so you really don't care where I sleep, right? Because nothing coming forward. So, once nothing coming forward, why you'd have any questions? So, it's magnificent for her to get a layer eyes and such. You see what I'm saying? We love you too. Sweetie. His name is Boldy. He's two years old. Yes, you could touch him. He would love it. Yes. Girl or boy? Boy, he's two years old. See, because love is love. It doesn't, love doesn't have no color, no skin, no shape, no size. It's just love. It's natural. It's pure. See? And it got a way, it got a feel to it. It's beautiful. Yeah. It doesn't hurt. You hear me, John? Love doesn't hurt. Gentle question. It's, uh, <laughs> it's so gentle to you that you could, you could suck you it in. Do you speak English? Uh, yeah. <laughs> could you, you fulfill and the need, please? So that's what our whole thing was about. That That's what the bracelet was made for. So that, because when most people met us, they might think it's a phantom, it's a dream they yeah, had in Could you leave him like a little tip? By, accident, a little by accident, tip for the photo? You know, a dream they run across yes, America. Leave him a little tip. In Central Park Thank or wherever in New York. The project is about the truth. The project is about you. us needing to have a truthful reaction like you and I got just now, where we have just a little bit of communication and not just being taken by picture all day by all people all day. So the greatest project ever because everybody can prove themselves to be of good. Like you've been very righteous, you didn't just stand over there like we had earlier an example, just zoom us in and violate us, you didn't do that. You was gentle, you smiled, you was curious and that's how it's supposed to be, just a little bit of interaction. So we're getting a chance to say, hey, I'm Lola, this is Goldie, this is Paul. And so when you look at the pictures at home, you can actually say, you know what, I actually met them people. I had to speak for a few minutes with them. Where are you from? Well, we are from Manhattan now, but I live, we, I come from South Germany. South Germany? Yes, yes. And yourself? China. Welcome. Thank you. I, I say Che Che. Che Che. Yes, Thank you. yes. Thank you. We used to visit an uh, elderly Chinese couple. Um, they was running one of those good morning coffee stores with the donuts and the coffees. And um, where was they located on 60th and 5th Avenue? Really nice place. They treated us wonderful. So that's every time we went there in the mornings, Mr. I call him Mr. Chi. Mr. Chi. Yes, I call him Mr. Chi. I'm not really 100% sure if that's his name. But every morning he started teaching us one Chinese little word. And all I can remember now is Che Che because guess what's happening? Oh, Chinese him, difficult. Yeah, him and his yeah. wife, they retired, they went back to China and there went my little pleasure. So when I get to, uh, get to ask back where you're from, you say from China, you can teach me a new word just now. <laughs> so what word do you want to teach me today? Teach me a Chinese, Chinese word, yes. Something Ni easy. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Yeah. What we saying hello. means this. Hello. Yeah. Ni hao. Yeah, ni hao. Thank you very much. Ni hao. Ni hao. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank Are you vacationing? Uh, I'm an exchange student here. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. I'm glad you came to the park. This is the most fantastic place to be on a beautiful yeah, day it's like my that. It's time to come to the park. Oh, it is great. Yeah. There's a lots of activities going on, specifically on the weekend. And um, sometimes up top there, they got free concerts going on. So come a lot to the park whilst you're here. The concert is about the summer, right? Yes, so they had one last night. Only one semester time. Oh, short time period. Who are you? Lexi. Lexi. Letty. Letty. Hi, Letty. <laughs> Give us a, 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 a ni hao. Ni hao. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're 
You're welcome. Thanks for speaking. Bye. I like your earrings. The tree of life. No, most of them would not even realize that right now we're in the middle of Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit. They're right here right now. The reason being two or more are gathered in their name.